Spencer Dryden was the drummer of the legendary San Francisco rock band Jefferson Airplane. In February 1971, Dryden replaced Mickey Hart in the country rock band The New Riders of the Purple Sage. And in 1982, he co-founded the Bay Area supergroup The Dinosaurs with fellow Bay Area musicians Peter Albin of The Big Brother and Holding Company, John Cipollina of Quicksilver Messenger Service, Robert Hunter of The Grateful Dead, and Barry Melton of Country Joe and the Fish. Spencer Dryden was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with his Jefferson Airplane bandmates in 1996. He was inducted by Phil Lesh and Mickey Hart. DTV caught up with Spencer at the 1989 Hate Street Fair where we spoke with him backstage. Spencer lamented the recent unexpected passing of his bandmate guitarist John Cipollina, who he thought was on the mend. He shared a revealing story about John's offbeat sense of humor in the early days of the dinosaurs. Dryden also discussed airplane reunion rumors and revealed the secret of San Francisco rock and roll. Talking with Spencer Dryden, uh, he's been playing a long time with lots of different bands, lately with the Dinosaurs. Good show today, Spencer. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank really you. enjoyed uh, the, the whole Hatry Fair, and you guys always finish it out at the end. Now, how many uh, fairs have you uh, showed up at? Just two shows. Okay? Yeah. How do you like it? Enjoy oh, doing it? Fun. Yeah. It's a fun gig. Yeah. What's in there? So, um, so the Dinosaurs are going to be touring, uh, I understand? Yeah. Don't ask me about anything except, don't even ask me about the music. Uh, you know? so, you don't, you, <laughs> so that's it. Okay. You don't know uh, yeah, what, what's going on with the dinosaurs or anything? You know, as far oh, as what's man, coming we up? Take it a page at a time. Page at a time. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a loose knit kind of thing then. It's not even knit. <laughs> it's, not even knit. <laughs> it's unraveled. It must have been quite a shock to uh, lose John a couple weeks ago. You ain't kidding. Because he was getting better. Yeah, you well, know, wrong time, man. You know, as soon as he straightened up and said, "Okay, I'll, I'll obey. I'll take care of myself." Boom. Uh, so, so he was playing though. Uh, with he was bands. up until the last two weekends before uh, he left. Mm-hmm. And he got a cold, and in the past, when John got a cold, he'd go to Greece, you know, uh, New York, and stay up for two weeks. This time, he just said, stay home, we'll get somebody else. And he never came back. He stayed home and then left us all, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have a special John Cipollina story you can tell us? I keep trying to, you know, it's one of those you would have had to have been there, but I mean, you know, the dinosaurs first started, we're uh, down in LA, like doing a big show at the Roxy. I think two nights or something like that with, you know, mega light show and everything, a lot of publicity attendant. And we were pulling into town in two rented cars. There's a lot of traffic on Sunset Boulevard. And uh, John was in the car in front, I was driving the one behind, and I was bumping him. You know, like, actually, you know, enough to stop pedestrians and things. And John got out and found our uh, posters on the telephone poles. You know what a phone pole is. And he got up there, man, and started ripping the posters down, uh, mooned the uh, car, and then got back in. He must have been 37 at the time, you know. Anyway, I cracked up, man, you know, but that's what I mean. You would have had to have been there. Why was he ripping down the posters? I'd, just to be a nut, uh-huh. you know. <laughs> there is also a tape from, what's that show? Entertainment Tonight that they never put on. John did about 25 minutes solo with everybody else in the band giggling around him. Couldn't stop. Was he a bad boy, do you think? Mischievous. Mischievous. And a great rank sense of humor, man. Mm-hmm. It put him right in the, uh, the team. There. It's the secret to San Francisco rock and roll. Uh-huh. You have to have a rank sense of humor. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, what about these uh, airplane rumors? Are you um, uh, going to be uh, teaming, up, band, teaming up with your uh, <laughs> airplane uh, cohort? Uh, they were down in L.A. doing something, but uh, I am not attendant to that. Uh, have, you haven't heard from them at all about that? Oh, no, I talked to Paul before he went down. I just don't know. Uh, none of us really know if it's going to be my... I really... Uh, I like to go real close to the edge, you know, and uh, mostly it's just, uh, that's the way I'm going to do it. And just, you know, get right out there, and most producers and record people don't like that. 
what's he doing? You know, he's going out, okay. But I figure I'm old enough to get away with it. So do you think uh, if they, uh, they give you a call, you'll be there drumming away? Oh, I suppose if they had a cut or something they wanted me to do, sure, you know. I mean, I never say no to a session. I think it would be, you know, I think it's that part that of the That is whole nice, thing, it's not know? in my bailiwick. See, uh, I'm not I'm not driving the boat. Right. Besides right. that, I don't want to die on a plane crash. Uh-huh. You know. I already jumped out once. But you're ready to uh, ready to tour and do that. I'll go thing? play with just about anywhere. I mean just about anywhere. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah, I'll go play. You know, as long as it doesn't conflict with guys that I play and have fun. Uh, you know, I don't want to work for a living. Uh-huh. I want to play and have fun, you know. So are you playing with any other bands right now? It's just this corruption that we call different names with different people, you know. It's the same nucleus of people. Uh Uh, We've been doing that for about six years. And that's like three or four or five different bands, right? About three now. Uh, Do you ever get confused which band you're playing with? Never. I did in the beginning. I asked, you know, we were at the saloon or something, the quartet. So why don't we play blah, blah, blah. So Peter turned around and said, we don't play that in this band. That's a dinosaur song. And I'm like, Jesus, man, it's the same guys. You know, what? You know, oh, we don't play that song with this band. Okay, it's a different band. You know, should have read the poster when I walked in. You got to read the poster and you know what band yeah. you're in, right? As long as somebody calls me and gets me up before six. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Where are you guys from? I should ask that. Deadhead TV. I'll give you a flyer. Oh, for real.